Last week my mom married a really great guy, so this poem is for them even though they're not here. <laughs> when my stepfather tells me he will be taking my mother's last name, I picture him with a shovel. The night before they marry, I see him in the backyard burying Robinson. He is burying the Navy and all of the Pacific Ocean. He's not burying his home state, though. Kentucky is instead planted. Kentucky grows into a pomegranate tree, something no one can touch but him. My stepfather is the one who found the broken china my mother swept into her own system to protect us. At one point she had called it all right, called it fine, called it a rainy day, and now she is letting him gingerly glue all of the pieces back together. She calls it team effort and smiles at the same time. The engagement ring he gave her is an emerald. Our kitchen lights scream the color of garnet, new beginnings. When I try on my bridesmaid dress, my mother calls me pearly. And then she tries on her own gown, and for the first time, I see a season in her. A valley spine, eyes that are full, her entire body is full of fresh starts. And at one point, they had both admitted to me that they didn't think they would marry again. They both said, I didn't want love, love didn't want me. But today, they threw those words into the kitchen sink. It broke the garbage disposal, it made a racket, but it didn't matter. All of that was music. The night before they are married, my stepfather comes back into the house with palms covered in callus and dust. As he washes off, I pour him a glass of water. I pour him a glass of Wallace. I need to tell him that I've never heard our house sing this way. I need to tell him good luck. I need to tell him thank you.